Dhyana, or meditation, is an act of continuous contemplation. Dhyana mainly involves three things. Unawareness of external objects and internal state. Unbroken awareness of the object on which the mind is fixed. And effortless prevention of other mental modifications. Dhyana helps you to find peace and internal harmony. Sit down in the Padmasana posture, which is a meditative posture. Apart from Padmasana, Dhyana can be done in any other meditative postures, like Sukhasana or Vajrasana. Those who cannot sit on the floor can practice Dhyana while sitting in a chair. While sitting in the Padmasana posture, ensure that your spine is comfortably straight. Arms and shoulders are relaxed. Head is upright and eyes are closed. You may take the support of the wall to keep your spine straight. Now, to get your hands in Dhyana Mudra, ensure the fingers are touching one another in a relaxed manner. Now, bring your left palm near your lower abdomen region and let it rest on your left leg. Next, rest your right palm above your left palm. This is called Dhyana Mudra. Ensure that the whole body is relaxed and comfortable. Draw awareness to your body from head to toes. This will help you to draw the attention inwards and away from external distractions. Now, become aware of your breathing. Inhalation and exhalation make it deep and slow. Continue this process till the breathing becomes minimal. Without concentrating on anything in particular, maintain a mild focus between the eyebrows and continue to be conscious of your breathing. Now, watch your thoughts. Try to stay with positive and pleasurable thoughts. As you progress in dhyana, your mind will start calming down and your mental activity will reduce and thoughts may dissolve completely. You will feel totally relaxed, contemplated, and stress-free. Dhyana, or meditation, is the most important and an integral part of yoga practice. Breathing in and out normally, try to sit in this state as long as possible. Dhyana rejuvenates both body and mind, helps to improve concentration, and aids behavioral modification. Dhyana keeps you away from negative emotions. It helps to eliminate anger, fear, depression, anxiety, and develop positive emotions. It helps you attain inner peace. It increases one's memory, willpower, and clarity of thought. It helps you become more positive and productive. Dhyana improves the quality of your life. Regular practice of Dhyana keeps your mind calm and quiet and leads you towards self-realization, which is the goal of yoga practice. Nadi Shodan Nadi Shodan is also known as alternate nostril breath regulation. The main characteristic feature of this form of yogic practice is alternate breathing through left and right nostrils without or with retention of breath. To do Nadi Shodan, you have to sit down in the Sukhasana posture, which is a meditative posture. Instead of Sukhasana, Nadi Shodan can also be performed in any other meditative postures like Padmasana, Swastikasana, or Vajrasana. Those who are unable to sit on the floor can perform it while sitting in a chair. While sitting in Sukhasana posture, ensure that your spine is straight, head upright, both your palms are on knees and eyes closed. To keep your spine straight, you may also take the support of a wall to sit upright. Now, 
Take some deep breaths and keep your body in relaxed position. Before starting the practice of Nadi Shodhan, let us first identify the fingers of your hand. Thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and little finger. Now, to bring your left palm into Dhyana Mudra, touch your thumb and index finger to make a circular shape and keep your middle, ring, and little finger open. Now, to bring your right hand in the Nasagra Mudra, fold and close the middle and index finger. Keep the thumb, ring, and little finger open. Now place the thumb of your right palm, which is in a Nasagra Mudra, on your right nostril, and breathe in from the left nostril. Then close the left nostril with the ring and little finger. Open the right nostril and breathe out. Now breathe in through your right nostril. Then close it with your thumb and breathe out through your left nostril. This is one cycle of Nadi Shodan Pranayama, or alternate nostril breath regulation. Repeat the cycle five times. In the beginning, you will probably take the same amount of time to breathe in as you will to breathe out. However, it is important to practice breathing out very slowly and in such a way that you take double the amount of time breathing out as you take to breathe in. Keep your breathing deep, slow, steady and regulated in the same ratio. The main purpose of Nadi Shodan Pranayama is to purify the Nadis, which are principal channels to carry energy, thus nourishing the whole body. This is very beneficial for cardiac patients. Nadi Shodan helps to elevate cough-related ailments. Regular practice of Nadi Shodan Pranayama increases tranquility and concentration. It also reduces stress and anxiety levels to bring you peace of mind.